Hello, we are live. How are we all? So it's just Polly and her little studio in here. Just doing something with my hair. Hi Kat, my lovely friend, how are you? Hi Lisa, my lovely friend, how are you? So it's a beautiful day. I don't expect many people to be here, but just to let you know, it's just gonna be a 20 minute flow. It's gonna pack a punch. It's working on the core. Hi, Sarah. Um, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna just take a small warm up and a very short, powerful flow, and then a small cool down. Hi, Sheila. Hi, Fran. Um, so, hi, Parisa. So be ready for a strong and active core workout that will only take us 20 minutes um, so that you can enjoy your son. And I really mean 20 minutes. If somebody like Paris is thinking that's totally a lie, um, then <laughs> I'm actually sticking to my timings today because I really, I'm trying to prove Don wrong in the garden. I was like, this is gonna be a 20 minute class. He was like, no, that means 40 minutes for you. You're back. Good, 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 good. Hi. Hi, Bavana. Okay, lovely. So I'll stop blabbering on and we shall get to practice. So if anybody could share this for me, this week we are working with donating towards the NHS. So a big shout out to the NHS and the carers, care home workers, all of those people who are doing amazing jobs out there. It really takes a certain style of person. Yes, you were thinking that, Parisa. Somebody was thinking that. Tell me, tell me in the comments, was anybody thinking that? Um, thinking that I will not stick to my time. Anyway, I will. Okay, so yeah, we'll leave the donation button in this so that if you have anything to donate whatsoever um, with any of our classes this week, then please don't send it to us. Please send it to the NHS link that we are providing you with. Okay guys, get your best music on and we shall get going. Well done for coming on a nice sunny evening. 20 minutes we've got. Okay, only work to your own personal edge. Don't push anything that doesn't feel right for you. Yoga is not about force, it's about love. So we're trying to work compassionately through posture to posture. If something feels too much, just stop. Take a child's pose. Okay, let's go. So guys, if you've got a mat, that would be handy. If you don't have a mat, you can always use the floor. Um, maybe something underneath the knees, like a blanket or something like that. Okay, so from here we're gonna start on the shins. So we're gonna sit on the shins, so we're opening out the top of the ankle. Now, if this is not a suitable position for you, you can always sit cross-legged or you can start by sitting on a chair or just find a comfortable position first of all. And then from here, I want you to just close the eyes down. Relax the shoulder blades down and start to grow tall through the midline. So from the belly, abdomen, navel, we're drawing all the way up through the crown of the head and keeping everything else relaxed from there. So the full spinal cord, the full core body is nice and relaxed. Connect to your breath. So we're connecting to a long, slow and even breath. Big inhalations and exhalations. Starting to just calm the body down. Lovely. And then from here, take a big inhale through the nose, a very deep inhale. Hold the breath, lengthen the spine, draw navel to spine so you've got this powerhouse around the lower body starting to activate. And exhale out the mouth. So take a sigh. <sighs> Lovely. And then when you're ready, come with the eyes open. And we'll just start a little warm up by bringing the hands to the 
thighs or into the lap, however you're sitting. And we'll start with a bit of spinal flex. So on an inhale, we're going to open out the heart space and draw the shoulders together. And on an exhale, round the heart space, drawing chin to chest. And again, inhale, use the breath. Exhale, push the breath out. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. A few more rounds, guys. Inhale, open heart. Exhale, close heart. Don't like those words that I've just used, but hey-ho. Inhale, exhale. Last few rounds. Inhale, exhale, open and close. Lovely. Come to a neutral spine position. And then from here, pop the hands to the floor and find a tabletop pose. Okay, you've got shoulders over wrists from here. Spread and ground down through the hands. Lovely. And then from here, we're going to start to extend two legs back into a plank pose. So you've got your first plank, plank asana. From here, find a long line from the crown of the head to the heels, keeping the belly drawn in and really press those heels away from the body. Big breath in here, guys. Long, slow and even breath in your plank. Fab. Again, keeping the belly drawn in from here. Let's bring the right knee in towards the chest. Keep the hips level. Press away with the left foot. So we're starting to really extend in this position. Lovely. Inhale, lift it slightly up that knee. So you're drawing the knee into the navel. Lovely. Exhale, lower it down again, but keep the shoulder blades stable and the belly stable. Again, inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. Last round, belly in. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. Fab. And extend back into your plank position. Fabulous. Inhale, left knee in. Lift it up, push up through the shoulder. Exhale, draw it down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Shoulder strong, belly in. Last round, inhale, up, exhale, lower, hold, and extend into plank. Very nice, guys. Pop the knees to the floor and soften back into a child's pose. Exhale. Big deep inhalations and exhalations, sort of softening into the belly area for a couple of rounds of breath here. Lovely. Take a check of the hands for down dog, index finger forward, spread the fingertips from there, curl your toes under, lift the hips up and back into your first dog. So just making sure that the foundation, so anything that's touching the floor here, is nice and active. So hands and feet are grounding, specifically through the front finger, your index finger and big toe. Draw the belly, lift the hips up and back. Find this solid dog. Extend the heels down. Fab. Inhale, lift the right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, draw the knee in towards the nose. Push up through the back of the heart space. Lovely. Keep in the hold of this position. Draw in navel in. Inhale, lift it back up again. Exhale again, knee to nose, push up through the back of the heart space, come onto the tiptoes of the back foot. One more round, inhale, lift back up, three-legged dog, exhale, take it slow, knee to nose, draw the belly in, tiptoes of left foot, fabulous guys, and then from here, step that foot through, work in the underbody, find that strong back leg here, Big raise up with the arms, high lunge pose. Asta Chandrasana, drawing belly in. Long, slow breath. Exhale, bring the fingertips behind you and pin the fingertips towards the back heel. 
lunge forward with the head, keep the belly hovering off the thigh, keep that lunge forward guys, drawing belly, navel to spine, open in the heart space and then reach the arms above the head, keeping the upper arms in line with the ears, keep reaching fingertips away from heel, breathing in, holding for one, two, Inhale, arms above the head for three. Asta Shungasana. Exhale, pop the hands down and step back into a down dog. Ground your hands and feet. Inhale, the left leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, draw the knee to the nose. Push up through the back of the heart space. Come onto the tiptoes of the right foot. Inhale, lift it back up again. Exhale, knee to nose, push up through the back of the heart space. Really round up here, guys. Inhale, lift back up again. Fab. And last round, draw that knee to nose, push up. Find that connection to underbody. And this time, step through with control. Work the belly, work the abdomen. Big inhale, raise the arms up above the head. Exhale, bring the hands behind your body. Pin the fingertips to the heels, root forward with the crown of the head, keeping belly active, keeping rib cage lifted away from thigh. Keep the torso where it is and extend the arms forward, slightly gazing down, push away with the heel. Hold in for one. Two, work the belly, work the front thigh, and three, big reach up, arms above the head, high lunge, and exhale, hands come down. This time, step back into that plank pose. Really nice, guys. Turn the heels to the right side. Prepping for side plank, you can always drop the bottom knee to the floor here, or lift the left arm up towards the sky. One long line from crown of the head to heels. Keep lifting the hips away from the floor. Lovely. Stay here. On an exhale, take the left hand and hug underneath the lower rib cage. Don't lift the hips up. Keep the hips here. Hug. Keep everything where it is. Inhale, lift back up again. Exhale, hug. Inhale, up. Exhale, hug. Lovely, from here turn, see if we can keep the hug, turn onto the balls of the feet, take a one-armed plank. This might just be an option, feel the right abdomen working here guys. Lovely, take it down. Chaturanga, option for the knees, elbows in, take it down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Long, slow breath. Fab. From here, draw the belly in. Inhale, come onto tiptoes. Roll the body like a wave into a plank position. Make sure your shoulders are over your wrists and you've got the heels pressing away. So you might want to just bring the feet a little bit further back. Turn onto the left heel. Option to drop the bottom knee to the floor. Raise the right arm up towards the sky, finding your side plank. Keep the torso sturdy, exhale, draw the top arm underneath the lower ribs. Use your breath, everyone. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, draw that underneath, really reach underneath. Strengthen that lower left abdomen. Last round, inhale. Exhale, squeeze. Fab, draw the belly and turn onto the tiptoes. Take a one-armed plank. Hold for one, two, belly in and three, extend back into full plank, option for child's pose, option for chaturanga, take it nice and slowly, shift the body weight forward, inhale up dog, exhale down dog, pop onto the knees, take a child's pose, hands to the side of the feet, twist in the wrists, Find a little bit of wrist therapy. 
Long, slow breath, guys. Bring the breath back in, so allow the breath to guide the movement. Fab. And then from here, extend the hands back out and rock the body up so you've got shoulders over wrists. Extending two feet back out into plank. Excellent, guys. From here, inhale, draw the right knee in. Hold, belly's active and extend back out. This time lift the leg up. Okay, flex the foot, lift the leg up. Exhale, draw the knee in. Inhale, lift the leg up, slightly up, use the bum muscles. Don't let go of that belly. And again, exhale, draw the knee in. This time turn onto inner arch of the foot and start to extend to side plank with a lifted leg. Maybe we can straighten that leg out. Hold for one two and three bring it back find your plank fab guys opposite side inhale left knee in exhale you can do it inhale exhale belly in inhale exhale last round belly in inhale turn it in a arch of back leg straighten out your under leg raise the right arm to the sky lift and exhale take it down full plank knees to the floor exhale <sighs> child's pose give yourself some wrist therapy soften into the breath soften into the wrists this is really strengthening the wrist to the full core body abdomen breathe into the side ribs here right into that side space long slow breath fabulous guys lovely and then from here extend the hands back out okay tuck the toes under find your down dog gaze to big toes long slow breath maybe we can let a little air out so take a big inhale here and exhale. Remember, just work to your edge. Try your best. Yeah, if something doesn't suit you, that's fine. Don't do it. Lovely. Big inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, draw the knee towards the left elbow. Twist, shift the body weight forward. Inhale, lift it back up again. Exhale, knee to nose, round up and recap. Inhale, lift it back up again. Exhale, knee towards right elbow, shift the body weight forward, belly in, push up. Inhale, back up again. This time, draw that knee in. Use the momentum of underbody, step it through. Raise the arms up, high lunge, Asta Chandrasana. Exhale, fingertips come behind, reach the crown forward, really ground into the feet. Nice work, guys. Find that buoyancy in the foot. Reach forward, bringing the fingertips over the head, drawing the belly and really reaching up. Open the rib cage out slightly. Fab. And inhale, back into your lunge position. Fab. This time, exhale, palms come to the centre of the heart. Twist towards the right knee. So find a twisted position. Left elbow comes onto right knight knee. Twist to the right. Breathing in for one, two, and three. Pin the fingertips to the floor. Step back into a plank pose. Lovely. Take the right knee to the floor. Right tiptoes out to the right slightly. Turn onto the inner arch of back leg and reach the left arm up towards the sky slow your breath down and then from here take the left arm up and over as you extend the left leg up and away from the earth flex the foot on an exhale draw the elbow to the knee keeping the belly in everything's nice and active here lift up work the core work the abductors the outer hip muscles Lovely. Inhale, lift. Keep the leg and arm lifted. Don't drop it. Exhale, elbow to knee. 
and again inhale exhale hold lift keep it lifted open out the hips as much as you can from here one more breath lovely and bring the hand to the floor bring the knees to the floor lift up and back into down dog gaze to the big toes inhale the left leg comes up to the sky exhale knee towards right elbow twist shift the body weight forward keep the back of the heart space balloon down belly's active hold inhale lift that leg back up again exhale knee to nose round up angry cat position push up through the back of the heart space belly's active inhale lift it back up excellent exhale knee to left elbow lift it high keep it nice and high belly in work the underbody inhale bring it back up and exhale step that foot through find your lunge pose ground your feet inhale raise up exhale settle back down so fingertips point back ground that back foot reach the heart forward long slow breath inhale fingertips above the head gaze down slightly keep the rib cage hovering off the thigh for one two and three inhale arms come up exhale hands to prayer twist towards the bent knee lovely open the heart space press away with the back foot nice twisted lunge pose lots of breath guys fab work Pop the hands to the floor, step back into your plank pose, hold that belly, keep it active. Left knee comes to the floor, shimmy the left foot out to the left slightly, turn onto the inner arch of straight leg and raise the right arm to the sky. Half side plank. From here, inhale, lift the right leg up, flex the foot, reach the top arm up and over. On an exhale, elbow to knee as high as you can lift that hip keep it lifted lovely and again inhale lift exhale elbow to knee okay keep the hip lifted open the hip work that left glute that under glute one more round inhale and exhale fab bring the knees to the floor bring the shoulder blades over the wrist belly's active extend two legs into plank position and from here wrap the elbows in you can always bring the knees to the floor elbows come to a right angle as you just come from the elbows belly's active slowly slowly chaturanga slow as you can hover belly in everything's level to the ground inhale up dog exhale down dog let some air out let's work through a vinyasa to cool down inhale step forward both feet exhale forward fold let some air out relax the back of the head inhale big swoop up arms above the head gaze to thumb exhale hands to the side of the body samastitihi nice guys again inhale arms up gaze to thumb exhale forward fold inhale halfway lift gaze forward exhale plant the hands step or jump back into your plank position come down nice and slowly as slow as you can elbows at a right angle try and drop the knees if the hips sort of splat before the arms lovely up dog and down dog coming from the belly five breaths in dog here lovely gazing forward and then from here if it's in your practice to do a little bunny hop hop with control to a seated position or take the right foot then the left foot and cross it behind the wrists lovely you can stay where you are i'm just going to face you 
bringing the soles of the feet together, drop the knees out to the side, and let's come into a restorative Baddha Konasana. So thread the hands through the legs, turn the palms to face the ceiling, and just fold the body down to wherever it naturally comes to. No forcing. Let some air out maybe. Really naturally rounding up in the spine, allowing that external rotation of the hip. Take a big inhale, unthread yourself. Lovely guys. And then just come lying down, taking a Supta Baddha Konasana. So we're gonna bring the soles of the feet together. This is our Savasana. If you wanna take a straight legged version, you can. So soles of the feet come together, knees drop out to the side, and extend the arms to wherever suits you. I want to bring one arm over, two arms over the head, one hand interlaces wrist, and just relaxing those elbows out to the side, breathing into belly. Soften the forehead, soften the area between the eyebrows. Slow your breath down, open the abdomen, so breathe into the belly. Big breaths as you extend the navel area up and out and you relax into it. Lovely everybody. And remember you can stay here for as long as you like. Just relaxing in whatever comfortable position suits you. Or you can start to get some twists into the wrists. Okay, we've done quite a lot of work on, on the arms. So be strengthening for you. Hopefully you've worked to your own edge. And twisting in the ankles. Take a big stretch up above the head. And exhale, draw those knees into chest. And just give yourself a little rock over to the right side. So we're coming all the way over to the right side, protecting the head with that underarm. Lovely. And then from here, start to draw the body up to seated. So keeping the eyes closed, come into easy pose, whatever that might be for you. Probably everything's an easy pose after that. <laughs> um, maybe you're on a chair, doesn't matter. And bringing the palms to touch at the heart space. Start to rub the palms, weight the body up. Thank you so much. Namaste. Take a little bow forward, open out the back muscles. Thank you guys. I actually think once in my whole entire life I've stuck to the timing. Hi, who's there? Mo, Gillian, Fiona, lovely to have you. Hope you enjoyed it um, and I shall see you tomorrow morning. What have we? Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? Yes. Beginners. Okay, so a little bit different to today, to this that we've just done. Um, two quite powerful vinyasa flows tonight. Obviously that was a quick one but um, this morning's apparently was rather challenging as well. Cheers, guys. Thanks, Sheila. Cheers, Parisa. Yeah, it was quite challenging, wasn't it, Lisa? But you, you, you must have guns of steel. You're at every single class. Um, yeah, they were hard, Sarah, for sure. They were hard for me also, so there you go. But um, okay, if you're not in beginners tomorrow morning, maybe I'll see you in Kundalini on Thursday. Have a wonderful evening. Mwah! Now you can go relax. Let's do a little bit of flopping around. See you later.